Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you're all in the best of your health. According to our today's lesson planner, we have part A and part B. Let's begin with the first part, which is refer to the text and answer the following questions below. So I'm going to read the text first. Let's see what's the text from the story. Quite often, what starts off as a hobby or pastimes develop into a more serious study or even a profession. This was the text of, from the first page of our story. Let's see what's the first question, which is uh, the, what is the first question which is related to the te given text. The first one is what sort of hobby in particular has been mentioned before this? So exactly what the question is exactly asking us, it's just what kind of a hobby has been mentioned into the story exactly before this text? Let's see what's the answer. And the answer was that the hobby of beginning a collection of things. So what hobby was mentioned before, exactly before this text? The hobby of beginning, of starting a collection of different things. This was the hobby that was mentioned before this text. Our next part is, what examples are given of hobbies developing later into professions? It means that within the story, what are some of the examples that had been given that was related to the hobbies, but later on, after, so later on in the future, it will develop into a profession. Let's see what, are, what were those hobbies. And the answer is that, that a child who is interested in stamps collection may work with stamps in the future, and one who is interested in collecting old coins, he, he might have become or he may become a historian in the future. Historian means the one who studies about history or about the past. And one who is interested in collecting flowers may become a botanist. Botanist is the one who just studies about the plants, about different flowers, or about the nature. Or simply we can say that basically it's the study of biology. So this was the answer of question number two. Let's move towards part B, question number one now. All right, so now we are on our part B, and the first question is that use the given words in sentences of our own. So we have some of the words that are given. We will simply use these words in our sentences. All right, so the first word was particular, which means something specific, something certain, or something special. So let's make a sentence that I have nothing particular to talk about. I have nothing special to talk about. Second one is pastime, which means an, a kind of an activity that someone does for an enjoyment, just like a hobby or something else. So let's make a sentence like gardening is my mother's favorite pastime. It's my mother's favorite hobby. Third one was influenced, which means a kind of a power which affects or which deeply affects on someone or something. And the sentence will be, we are greatly influenced by our environment. Let's move towards the next one. Next one is available, which means something that can be easily accessible or obtainable, that you can buy or you can own. Like free tickets are available till Monday. Then we have obtained. Obtained means to get something, to have something or to achieve something. And the sentence is that he obtained full marks in his final exams. And the last one is depends, which means to rely on something or to trust on something or someone. And the sentence will be his success depends on his efforts. That's it. These were the easy sentences that we had to make. And the question answers, I hope you understood everything. Thanks for listening.